Hi everybody, I'm Shreyas from MDAV Public School Hyderabad and today I'm going to do this project course on uh, Microsoft Word and the topic given is create your own vision with planning to achieve it and the topic in detail is given is first think of your vision or goal then, then create a Word document noting down how you plan to achieve it. So here are two instructions given. So the first instruction is given is create a Word document and note down your plan. So I've already created the Word document. As you can see, this is the one. Uh, I'll be explaining it to you in detail uh, after I read the instructions thoroughly. Then the second instruction given is show the plan in a presentable way with various timelines and how will you go about achieving it. So now I've read all the two instructions. Now I'll just be going to the Word document. So as you can see, this is the one. And at the first place, I've given the title My Vision. As you can see and now I'll be reading this in detail M my vision is to become a robotic scientist I like robotics because it's so interesting and it is the future I want to invent many robots which could help the world in a positive way I enjoy robotics as a dream a vision and as a hobby as well and I want to be considered as the best robotic scientist of the world so I've given uh, uh, the detailed definition of my vision here as you can see as I read it for you and here I've also inter uh, here I've also inserted four images uh, so these three images are of are of different robots and here I've inserted uh, an image in which a robotic scientist is working on a on a particular model of a robot so I'll be scrolling down more so the second topic I've given is my steps to achieve now I'll be reading this five points for you. Going to robotic science classes um, every day and regularly. Dreaming big, practicing every day, writing extra notes dealing with robotics and watching more educational robot videos. So these are the five steps um, I, I want to follow blindly to achieve my dream of becoming a, a robotic scientist. And here, as you can see, these five sentences are in the form of numbered list as you can see here one two three four five i'll mm, i'll show you how to insert it uh, after some time so here uh, the uh, the third subtopic is my timeline so here i've used shapes to to make this timeline so i'll be reading it for you now uh, and um, and if you notice here i've used bulleted list to uh, to represent all these and now I'll be reading this for you started robotic sessions on 7th November 2018 is the first one and now I'll be reading the second one went to regional bot competition on 3rd January 2019 and participated in many robotics category in inter school cultural championship and attended south zone robotic ro workshop held for three days and currently undergoing advanced training in robotics so so this is the brief explanation of my timeline and as you can see here i've i've used shapes and bulleted list and i've also formatted the text i'll be explaining you uh, after some time when i come to the feature section of this project and here i've also inserted a tagline my dream robotics so for this i've used word art uh, so I'll be showing you uh, the process of uh, of which I've I've done this. And here, this is my quote: "I will learn artificial intelligence and show the world." So, as everyone has a quote, this is my quote, and I, I want to prove it. So, I've done with the complete word document. Now I'll go on to the features. So the first feature says use options like formatting bullets and numbering so now i'll go to my word document and as you can see i i formatted so much of text so i can see the formatting by just clicking this and here um, as you can see i've used bold italic underline and i've and i've also changed the the, the font style to century gothic and uh and i've I have also changed the color of thick text to dark blue to be specific and, and I have also changed the font size 
and and not only in this i have done so many formattings in almost whatever i typed so as you can see here i have again given underline i have changed colors and uh, and uh, here as you can see i have used numbering so uh, so in order to give numbered or bulleted list you can just select it and uh, and you have to click this bullets icon if you want to give a bulleted list or this uh, this numbering icon if you want to give numbers now uh, i'll just show a sample for you this is bullets so as you can see all these sentences have been changed to the format of bullets now uh, i've already covered bullets so now i'll keep this back to numbering again so uh, as you can see it is changed to numbering again so i formatted the text and i've used numbered uh, numbering and bulleted list so i've completed the first feature that is use options like formatting bullets and numbering so i'll now i'll go on to the second feature make proper alignment use word art and page borders so as you can see i've made proper alignments so so here uh, the, the text is center aligned i can make it right aligned or left aligned also this is left aligned it will go to, to the left it will be aligned with uh, in, in respect with the left margin of the page and this is center and and this is right align which will uh, which will align the text with respect to the uh, right margin of the page and this is justified which will uh, make the, the paragraph or the text i have typed in equal proportions on on both the margins or both the sides so now i'm keeping it in center align so so here this is also center aligned this this is center aligned and here this is left aligned so uh here this is center again and here this is right so i have uh, so uh, so in this word document I have also used proper alignments as it is given in the feature. Now going with the next one, use word art. So in order to insert a word art, so as you can see, I have used word art here. Sorry, here I have used word art my dream robotics. So in order to insert a word art, you have to select the text and go to drawing tools format. So so here uh in the world art styles group you can just click the more icon and here you will get a, a number of word arts available so so i choose this word art before now uh, i'll be changing the word art in front of you so uh, for instance i'll just keep this so as you can see it has been changed to a different word art so you can choose your word art from here as i've shown you and next one is page borders so as you can see i have inserted the uh, the borders for every page so in order to insert borders you have to click design and uh, to the extreme right corner you will get page borders so you have to just click that and you can select the page border you want so so you have to click the page border tab and and you can just select the format of your page border so now in front of you i'll i'll choose this so it will be like so the preview will be like this when i click ok so so you can observe here it will be changed so as you can see it has been changed to a different border as i've shown you so in order to insert a border you have to click design and page border located here that is in the extreme right corner so now going so i've completed the second feature also now now i'll go with the third feature also insert background color or image so in order to insert a, a background color or page color in the in the same way you have to go to design and and just beside the page border you'll find page color so i've given the page color this so in front of you i'll change the page color to uh to, to this color light blue so as you can see it has been changed so in order to insert a page color you have to click design again and just beside the page border you can you, you'll find the page color and you can choose the desired page color you want 
so so going with the next one also insert background color or image i have finished the background color now I'll, I'll go to the image one so in order to insert an image as you can see i've inserted four images here you can either copy or paste from the internet or if you have it in your file explorer you can just click insert and pictures in the in the illustrations group you can click pictures and from here you can select the desired location and you can uh, insert a, a picture from here so i've inserted uh, four pictures in the same manner so for inserting a picture you have to just click insert and in the illustration group click pictures you can also insert online um, um, picture from other online sources also so i've completed all the instructions as given and all, all the all the features and my project is completed. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.